Beef vegan is the very highest quality chopped hay. That's 80% of their diet. Sounds pretty boring, doesn't it? But once a month, we do give them uh, a great big colourful smorgasbord of fruit and veg. And it includes the really spiny cactus just uh, over there, the Apintia cactus, with kind of plate-like structures on it. And we remove the spines, and that is their absolute favourite item. But yeah, strict vegetarians otherwise. Much like myself, I can't recommend it more highly. Um, oh, it looks like Smiley's on his way over to us, that's great. He's realised that um, one of the girls has already tipped all of her grass straight into her mouth. You see, it's a great problem with these, um, these are what some of the problems that keep us face when they think about um, keeping animals is, you would think, wouldn't think a, a food dish would present an issue for, you know, you could, get, could you get a food dish wrong? Well, actually, you can get a food dish wrong. What we want is uh, a food dish that when, tip, when it's tipped over, it won't split or cause any kind of splinters. These don't, and that they're light and don't cause any damage when they step on them. But of course, the problem is that every so often they step on the corner and the old thing's all over their head and shell. Um, so we've got to come up with another system, really, of uh, attaching them to the wall, but uh, uh, excellent. So um, Smiley here is um, demonstrating an another key thing that we, we use. These animals um, live, or so used to live in many cases, with a finch, a particular finch. Uh, one of them is called the Darwin's Finch, and it provides a fantastic service to the Galapagos tortoise in that it um, whips underneath the tortoise when it stands on its tippy toes and removes um, all the pests and parasites that may be present. And the keepers use this to their advantage. We know this association between those two animals, and we actually, to get a good look underneath our tortoises, which is basically like a health check, we tickle their legs or tickle their toes, and that causes them to kind of stand on their tippy toes and allows us to safely look underneath and check that all is well.